What's going on everyone? It's Alec here at Soulful Guitar Lessons. Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to go over the top three songs to play on electric guitar by John Mayer. This is geared towards intermediate guitar players. So grab your guitar, follow along with me. We're going to have tabs going to be on the top of the screen so you can easily follow along. You can go back, you can rewind. And these songs are, in my opinion, the best songs to learn, to play, and to practice by John Mayer. So stick around. I'll even tell you about the time I met John out here in Los Angeles. Let's get into it. Number three on our list is Belief. It's off of his Continuum album. It came out when I was in high school, and it's still to this day one of my favorite pieces of art. Between the songwriting, the session playing, the textures, the all everything just combining together, it just makes for this beautiful piece of art, and it's influenced me, and I'm sure you and you know, millions of other musicians, guitar players as well. When this came out, it was using a lot of the same session players as D'Angelo's Voodoo. You know, Spanky Alfred on guitar, Charlie Hunter, Roy Hargrove, that kind of thing. And so there is this connection uh, between all of this amazing music coming out, you know, in the early 2000s. This song is relatively... Um, it's not terribly hard to play. It's just about a lot of feeling, you know, getting your timing right. Uh, the song is in the key of F, and I'm going to show it to you real quick, and then we can kind of break it down, figure out how to play it, and how to best kind of think about some of these concepts this song is teaching us, all right? So this song is using an interval in music theory, it's called sixths. So if you don't know what that means, don't you don't have to worry about it. Um, eventually, you know, it's something that will become useful. Um, but, you know, for our purposes today, you can kind of just follow along with the tabs and uh, figure out kind of what's going on. So he's in the key of F major. And he starts on D minor. And he does this little... And what he's doing there is he's on the A string, 12th fret, he skips the D string, and then he's on the G string. And that's on the uh, 10th fret. So he goes, and then his ring finger goes uh, down from the 12 to the 10. And uh, on the G string, we go down a half step from the 10 to the 9. So it sounds like this. And that sound, uh, that sound is sixth, like that kind of open, beautiful sound. It, uh, I use them all the time in my guitar playing, and it's it's really just an incredible sound. A lot of you can use it in like gospel. Uh, Brown Eyed Girl uses six. You know, I, I don't mean to get too off track, but you can see uh, that this concept that he's using isn't. Uh, in isolation, and he didn't invent it. Um, however, this is a beautiful song, and I wish I would have wrote this song. You know, it's an amazing song. But anyways, this this first chord is D minor. We do that little lick, and it's G minor, and he literally just hits the the root note. So low E, third fret, and then he does these six again. So on the A string. We have the 8th fret, and on the G string, 7th fret. And then we go down a half step on the A string, and a whole step on the G string. That's what it sounds like. All right. And then we, we hit the C note, and we do a similar kind of motion, uh, which is on the A string, 5th fret, and G string, 3rd fret. And then we go back to our beginning note, which is D. And then we play uh, 12, 10, and then we move the 12 up to a 13, and we move our 10 up to the 12. I absolutely love this song, so I'm gonna keep playing it so you can follow along and loop it. I saw John Mayer live when I was a kid. I was in high school, maybe junior high. He came to the Excel in Minneapolis, St. Paul area, and it was 
absolutely incredible. And I specifically remember him playing Gravity. And this is not, Gravity is not on our top uh, three list. However, I'm just bringing it up because I remember the feeling. I, you know, it's, I don't remember every single note, but I remember the feeling I had. I was like, wow, this guy, like, this is the, it was so powerful to hear him play guitar and to sing like that. And I think Gravity lasted 15, 20 minutes. It's like, he just took his time and it was absolutely, it's like one of those moments I will remember forever. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible guitar player. Love, love his tone, love his phrasing, everything about him. It's, you know, he's big on YouTube, but I, I feel like until you actually see him live and feel like what he's putting out, like emotionally, uh, it's kind of hard to capture on camera. Um, uh, but anyways, here, here I'm going to play uh, Belief slow for you so you can follow along. One more time. Slow that down, rewind it, play it back a couple times, and really get it under your belt. Right now, I'm playing a uh, strat, and in the position, I'm in like the fifth position. So, this little five way switch, the switch is pointing towards me, and my volume and tone are completely up. Number two on our list is once again off of Continuum. It is called Vultures. <laughs> So, what is going on? We are basically just grooving on this F-sharp riff. We're playing two notes at a time. Kind of gives it its little magic. And what we're doing is A and D string, going up to the 16th fret. And then I do this little, this little, uh, a nice little flourish right here on the G string, 13, and D string, 12. And right here on this note. And then, what's really cool is I just kind of repeat the phrase again. And I just play this twice. So let me play it slow for you, this whole phrase. Play it once again, slow, so you can kind of really, really listen to it and figure out what I'm doing. I'm using my fingers right here. I'm using my thumb on the A string, my first finger on the D string, and my middle finger on the G string. One song to play on the electric guitar by John Mayer for me is Who Did You Think I Was? It's off John Mayer's trio album. It's got Steve Jordan on the drums, Pino Palladino on bass, and John Mayer is just absolutely letting loose. He is ripping. And if you can get this riff under your fingers, you're going to be doing all right. So I'm going to play it one time for you, and then we're going to break it down, figure out what is happening. Just to let you know, we're in the key of A. It's like an A blues. That's the riff. It's so, so cool. Very, very aggressive. You play it on a strat, fifth position. I'm going to have tabs. You can follow along right here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm playing an open A, and then I do this little tritone walk-up. Um, 
I just move it a half step. If you don't know what tritone is, don't worry about it. It's just an interval. Um, again, a lot of music theory will come in handy as we progress, but it's not necessary for this channel. Uh, but basically, we, we start on the D string, 4th fret, 1st finger, G string, 5th fret, ring finger, and we just slide, slide up a half step. And then we, we use our A pentatonic, and we, we hammer on from the 5 to the 7 on the D string. So, right, so let, let's go over that so far. And then we have this riff. Uh, this like ending phrase, which is eight, five, eight. So eight on the low E string, five on the A string, and then eight on the low E string. Let's go over that whole first phrase again. The second half of the phrase is almost identical. Uh, however, it, it just has like a little different ending. So here's the second half of the phrase. Same way, same uh, intro as the first half and then right here is we just go eight five so let's play the first half and then the second half and we'll combine them so here's the first half speed with a little I, I was rolling off my volume so you could hear it a little better but it is a little dirtier in the record for my money those are the top three songs to learn on electric guitar by John Mayer number three is belief Number two is Vultures, and number one is Who Did You Think I Was? Now, when I got to L.A. about four years ago, I was lucky enough, I had a friend that was playing in John Mayer's band, and he called me up one night and, you know, he invited me to a John Mayer's friends and family show, which basically means there was like 50 people at this little rehearsal space. Well, it was a big rehearsal space, but, you know, it was kind of set up. They got food, they got drinks, and I, I brought my... Uh, then at the time, girlfriend, now wife, to this uh, to this rehearsal. And, you know, we walk in and it's very, it's awesome. And we walk in and like the first thing we see is John Mayer coming towards us. He's like walking down the hallway. It's like, hey, hey, what's up, guys? And him being a hero of mine, I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> how's it going? There he is. And my uh, then girlfriend, now wife, she was, she was a little more like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Uh it was really cool to see. And, you know, we, we ended up, you know, seeing his show and he just performed maybe a 70 minute set kind of testing out material. Um, I was like maybe five feet away from him. There's no security, no anything. And it was absolutely incredible. The band sounded amazing. You know, they were not holding back just because there were 50 people there. Um, and I'm so, so grateful for that, that moment, uh, I guess, in my career just to really meet him and, you know, I'll tell you maybe the full story another time, but yeah, I got to meet, you know, Pino and got to meet a whole bunch of great, great people. And it was just really an incredible night. And yeah, it just kind of furthered my love for John Mayer's music, for his artistry. And, you know, hopefully one day get to run into him again. But thank you so much for watching Soulful Guitar Lessons. I am Alec. I will see you next week. Take care.